All right, here we go with our last video in Unit 6, Entropy. I like to think of entropy in terms of a teenager's room. All right, your mom says to you, go clean your room after some whining and kicking and screaming and fighting, and you eventually go do clean your room. Does it stay clean? No. It's slowly, or not so slowly, going to become messier and messier. And that's because the universe has a tendency towards chaos, disorder, or messiness. Okay, so entropy is defined as the degree of randomness or the chaos, disorder, or messiness in a system. Nature tends to proceed to a state of greater entropy or disorder. It's going to become more disordered, which is a little funny when dealing with more disorder it seems like a double negative All right, so the more order you have the less entropy in your system the less order you have the more entropy in your system so more order is like neater neater is less entropy messier less order messier is more entropy now, you're going to have to be making a lot of decisions if something has more or less entropy. The easiest thing to look at is a phase change. It's a really significant factor in determining entropy. Okay? The most ordered phase is solids. The least ordered phase we've studied is gases. Right? Solids, everything to arrange nice and tight. Gases, very random, all over the place. Okay? Solids have the least entropy because they have the most order. Gases have the most entropy because they have the least disorder. And we can see this when we look at particle diagrams, right? Most order, least order. So most entropy, delta S, least entropy, delta S. So let's see, in chemical reactions, entropy increases when a compound is broken down. So if we take water and break it down into hydrogen and oxygen, we're increasing entropy because we're breaking it down. Entropy decreases when a compound is created and bonds are formed. So just the opposite here. If we go the other way and take hydrogen and oxygen and make water, we are decreasing entropy. When looking at a chemical reaction, if there's no phase changes, we count up the number of molecules on each side. So here on the left, there's two molecules. Here on the right, there's three. More molecules, more disorder, increase in entropy. The number of moles increases. Entropy increases. More disorder. If the number of moles decreases, entropy decreases less disordered all right so then kind of a semi review of enthalpy our delta h the heat of reaction right deals with the energy in the system nature is going to tend to proceed to a state of lower enthalpy right of lower enthalpy well what kind of reaction is that well, it's an exothermic reaction they release energy and move to a lower energy state. Most common types of reaction, exothermic reactions are, the most common types because less energy has to be put in to get the reaction started. There's a lower activation energy. Plus, they end up giving off heat and the resulting is something with a lower potential energy. Endothermic reactions, on the other hand, absorb energy and move to a higher energy state. So there's a higher activation energy needed. They are not as common because you have to put in a lot more energy to get the reaction started. And then you don't get as much energy out. All right, question time. So based on what you learned about for determining if something's have more or less entropy, determine it's each of the following show an increase or decrease in entropy. All 
right? Remember that if you're producing more moles, you're going to tend to have a, on the, uh, you're going to have more moles on the product side. That's going to be an increase in entropy. If there's more moles on the reactant side, that'll be a decrease in entropy. And don't forget, entropy increases as we go from solid to liquid to aqueous to gas. All right, that brings us to the end of 6.6 .6, as well as to the end of Unit 6. I will see you guys in school.